So, here I am in the tropical Rocky Mountains. I have a light bulb that is rechargeable. It's in the shape of a light bulb. And I have a heater. Catalytic propane-fueled heater. And it's just spewing out the carbon dioxide and the water vapor and heat. And it's consuming all of my oxygen. But I figure I'd rather, you know, suffocate instead of freeze to death. I made uh, two sandwiches and frozen bread, frozen mustard. Actually, it was a paste. It came out of the squeeze tube like a slow, pasty dribble that's partially frozen. And then frozen pickles, frozen lettuce, frozen tomatoes, for frozen onion, and pliable, I guess, provolone cheese slices. So I'm thinking I'm going to put the food inside tonight. <laughs> Otherwise, um, it'll be too hard to eat. I'd have to gnaw on it. Yeah, gnaw on a yellow mustard sickle. <laughs> Which raises the question, what is the temperature at which prepared yellow mustard freezes. Is it different than spicy brown mustard? Poupon? Gray or otherwise? I watched... <coughs> I didn't watch... <coughs> I watched a DVD on my laptop. I watched... Kung Fu Hustle, which is just an awesome movie. I would say fucking awesome, you know, like an intellectual that I am. But it's Christmas Eve, so I figure, you know, six hours I would watch my language, maybe. If I can manage six hours. I've never actually accomplished six hours without, you know, using proper intellectual diction and dialogue and prose. But we'll see. Then, after Kung Fu Hustle, which is, you know, Stephen Chow, and he also made the film Shaolin Soccer, and it's also called Kung Fu Football. Um, both are excellent films. Uh, I didn't bring uh, Shaolin Soccer with me. So, after I watched Kung Fu Hustle, I've got the laptop battery charging. I've got a spare car battery and an inverter, and as soon as the battery is charged... I will probably watch Die Hard and watch John McClane kicking terrorist ass. Actually, criminal, um, non-terrorist, but... I don't want to, like, spoil the movie out there and tell you, Hey, they aren't really terrorists. That would be wrong, so forget I said they're not really terrorists. And then after Die Hard, I was thinking either Frozen, which... I'm just not in the mood for Frozen... Maybe, I don't know, Zootopia would be fun. And then Django Unchained, which, no, not, not in the least bit violent. That should get me, I don't know, until um, sunrise, I guess, or I don't know, at least until four in the morning, five in the morning. Meanwhile, my brother is Skyping me, and that just cracks me up. The... Here I am in the desolate, frozen wilderness, Siberia, Antarctic, and I'm getting bleep, 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 and my brother's saying, let's see, try sending for pizza delivery. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon up here. If tonight gets way too cold, I'm going to move down another 1,800 feet or so um, in elevation. And maybe I'll go to Spruce Hole, Colorado. You can Google that if you felt like it. But I'm getting cell tower connection, I think, over in um, Chaffee County, I guess. I'm, I'm assuming the cell tower is like, I don't know, 9, 10 miles away. And I have a direct line of sight. I have the iPhone in the window of the vehicle, and it's already frozen. I'm surprised it's still running when it's cold. I thought they gave, like, temperature warnings and shit like that. 
but I guess not. <sighs> Pardon me, my nose is, like, thawing out. I can't actually feel my toes, but I can still move them, so I figure that's a good sign. Anyhow, maybe Christmas Eve I'll upload another video. For the moment, let's see, battery is 93% charged. I'm going to fire up Die Hard. I'm going to fire up my Bluetooth amplifier stereo speaker system thing. And I'm just going to crank that. I'm sorry, I was going to use an intellectual um, phrase there, but I'm Christmas Eve, so I'm not going to say motherfucker. I'm going to crank that stereo system up and just blast out Die Hard and watch that. And um, yeah, Maybe another frozen sandwich after that. And then, Zootopia.